Lesson 14. Status Quo Bias, Loss Aversion, and the Endowment Effect Status quo bias is a preference to keep things as they are. Any change from your current state is perceived as a loss. As a result, making positive changes in your life can be much harder than you think, simply because you will perceive them as losses, even if the current situation is no longer optimal for you. I'll focus on two major, lesser biases that can interact with the status quo bias. The first is loss aversion, the tendency to strongly prefer avoiding losses to acquiring gains. The second is the endowment effect, the tendency to ascribe more value to things merely because you own them. To put these in perspective, let's say you want to go on a diet. There's still a lot of unhealthy food in your house, but because of the endowment effect, you perceive a high value to the food you have. The loss aversion makes you prefer avoiding losing the food you spent money on to making the more optimal decision, donating the food, and gaining a house free of temptations. Because of these two, essentially combining into the status quo bias, you will keep the unhealthy food at home. Then, thanks to the restraint bias described in the last lesson, you'll be more likely to give in to temptation and eat it. There are several ways you can battle the status quo bias. First, remind yourself of your goals and ask yourself if the status quo serves those objectives. Does storing tempting food in your house help you lose weight? Next, ask yourself whether you would pick the status quo if it wasn't already the current state of things. Would you still want to have junk food in your house if it was already free of it? Then, try coming up with several alternatives to the status quo. Instead of seeing things in black and white, having or not having, come up with more ideas. You can donate the food, or you can also give it to your friend to keep for you. Finally, choose an alternative. Don't succumb to the status quo simply because you have a hard time choosing between alternatives. If you're unsure whether you should donate the food or give it to your friend, don't resort to the easy choice of not doing anything. Toss a coin if you have no idea which to do. Being aware of the status quo bias and using the four techniques when you're tempted to not act, even if you're aware the current situation is bad for you, will help you break through resistance and take positive action.